Hello and welcome traders. It's weekend, market is closed. Let's do some market breakdown. So this is GBPUSD on the daily time frame, right? So this was Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday, right? So I'm gonna cut price right here. And this is exactly how the market looked when it opened, right? So this was an uptrend. You can see we have higher high right here. There's a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low new higher high a higher low and a higher high right so as long as this low is not broken this is still an uptrend so if you watch the previous forecast i was saying that i'll be looking for selling opportunities once we have a change of character right here and that's exactly what happened so let's go on the lower time frame to see how this trade was taking so on the four hour time frame i just waited for a break and retest so this was how the market played out let me just forward this so we had price just trading around this level i wasn't interested in looking for buying opportunities because of this impulsive move to the downside right i wasn't expecting an impulsive move back up right but i was ready to be looking for buying opportunities once this structure changes break and retest and then goes up right but that never happened so i waited for this so right here this was the breakout candle the market gave us as a confirmation so the best entry is to wait for a pullback at this area of value so that's exactly what happened as well and if you watch that video that i made about the easy winning strategy you will understand exactly what i'll be looking for at this area of value so at this level i was just waiting for a bearish engulfing candlestick as my confirmation so this was the candle that gave me the confirmation i got in right here for a sell stop loss here and then the take profit i went down on the one hour time frame right so looking at this i also added this trend line right so this was just my impulse this is my correction so with my take profit i just had this move this is the impulsive phase just brought it here right and then this was my take profit level so let's see how the market played out price just shut down and then hit our take profit level right so this was just a simple break and retest trade that the market gave us you just don't want to complicate your approach to trading right so this is the current market i'm just going to take everything off we go back on the daily time frame to see the structure so on the daily time frame we switch from bullish to bearish right this is a nice change of character so what we can be looking for is selling opportunities right so we can look at this next support level back to the 4h we had an impulsive phase currently price is correcting right so this is still a downtrend on this 4h time frame we still have this lower low lower high lower low lower high structure right so as long as this high is not taking out right price is still bearish right so currently what price is doing is correcting we are in the corrective phase we have this impulse price is just correcting right so if this high is not gonna be broken then we can see price correcting and then a move to the downside let's also take a look at nzd card this is the four hour time frame so let me put on this indicator so this is where the market opened right so i'm gonna cut this so when the market opened the structure was actually bearish because we had this higher high higher low a higher high a higher low a high and then price took out this low right so this was the change of character right so this was actually just the pullback as long as this high is not taking out right so drawing a fibonacci we can have something like that from the high to the low and then this is exactly where price took a reversal right so we had price going all the way to the downside from here right so i'll show you the trade that we took on the 15 minutes time frame so i'll go to the one hour time frame and then we see what happened so on the one hour time frame we had price just creating lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs right so this is how i saw the trade so let's fast forward this so here we were just creating these lows and highs right so this was our major swing low swing high swing low swing high like that right so currently this was our major swing high right so let's fast forward it so this is where i spotted the setup right so as it stands it's still a downtrend until this high is broken right if price breaks above this level then retest i can be looking for buying opportunities right 
until then whatever is happening here is just a pullback on this time frame but if you go down on the lower time frame such as the 15 minutes time frame is going to be an uptrend right and since we want to be trading with the overall direction of the market we don't want to go down on the lower time frame and be looking for buying opportunities since this is going up right if we buy here we are basically buying a pullback on this time frame so we want to wait for this pullback to finish and then we can get in for a sell that is if this is going to go down right so i'll go down on the 15 minutes time frame and show you how i monitor this trade so on the 15 minutes time frame this was a high this was a low let's see what price did we broke this high right so you can actually see that we are creating higher highs higher lows higher highs on this time frame right so it's actually an uptrend on this time frame let's see how price played out so right here i spotted this structure price pulled back to the zone failed to break above and then pushed to the downside went again to create a double top right and there's gonna be a double top once this neckline is broken so i was just waiting for the break of this neckline right and also had this structure which was also my flag on the four hour time frame right so i had the impulse coming all the way from the downside this was just the correction so what i was just waiting for is a break of this neckline right so let's just delete this and then look at this market structure this way so right here i got in i didn't wait for the retest because this was just the 15 minutes time frame my stop loss was pretty okay right this was just 21 pips so i got in here with my take profit here so let's see how price also played out So we can see how price actually smashed through this take profit to the downside right so this is just a continuation of this downtrend we didn't take this trade to the upside if we did this would have been just a short-term trade right but taking this trade to the downside is in alignment with the overall direction of the market right so always you have to make sure that you are trading with the overall direction of the market you don't want to go against the trend so let's take a look at gold as well we have this structure going to the upside so this was an impulsive move and then this was the correction right so this is a pattern that can actually break to the downside all right so price is currently trading at this resistance level with this rising wedge pattern so what we want to look at is the structure at the level so what you always have to focus on is the market structure how is price approaching a certain level it's actually not about the resistance it's about what price is doing at the resistance right this resistance line nobody drew it on the chart but me right the market doesn't know that i have a resistance level there right so you cannot say that when price gets here we need to see a move to the downside no the market doesn't see that you have a line there right so you don't have to focus on that line that you call resistance what you have to focus on is the area so the resistance level or the support level is just giving you an area to be looking for the market behavior at that level so what we want to focus on is what price is doing within this level right so we will delete all these things and then approach the market in a very simple way so i'll go down to the four hour time frame and also show you how we took a trade on gold exactly where the market opened right so when the market opened we had a push to the downside and then price imposed all the way to the upside right so when price got to this level we were just focusing on the structure at that level so as i was saying this is a resistance level so what we are focusing on is what price will do at that level right so let's go down on the 1h time frame and then show you exactly what i saw so at this level i saw a very basic structure this is a left shoulder is a head and then the right shoulder right and this is a reversal pattern so i'm seeing this structure below this resistance level right so what i was just waiting for is a break of this neckline once we have a break of this neckline we're just gonna go short so we will go down on the 15 minutes time frame to see how we got into this trade so here on the 15 minutes time frame we had price at this level all right this was the left shoulder this was the head and this was the right shoulder so we saw this impulsive move to the downside right so once this candlestick closed we just got in for a sell so this was the entry stop loss right here and then the take profit was all the way to this trend line right and i'll show you exactly why we targeted this level 
right so let's fast forward this and see how it played out price shot down to our take profit level so on the four hour structure we had this first touch the second touch and then we had price coming all the way to the trend line right which also correlated with this support level okay so we had this support level that is why we targeted this level as our take profit level so going forward on gold this is actually our highest point that the market got to before trading to the downside right so as long as this high is not broken we could still see gold trading all the way to the downside so i can have my fib from this level to this level the price can either push to the 50 percent zone 61 78 or even 100 percent zone before coming all the way to the downside right but if price breaks above then we'll be looking at something else so what we can focus on is the market structure of this pullback right so we can either wait for a change of character on this trend on the lower time frame right so maybe higher high higher low high 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 low change of character like that and then we can be looking for selling opportunities right here but until then we're just gonna wait for the market to correct and then we will see what will happen going forward so let's take a look at euro jpy this is the monthly time frame and then we can see price at this level so we go down on the weekly time frame this is a top down analysis just to see what price is doing at that level so as i said it's not about the level the level is just giving us an area to watch out for what price will do when it gets there what we need to focus on is the market structure what price is doing at that level right so looking at this we have an impulsive phase right here right this market shot up impulsively and then going forward it started correcting right so we have this correction phase to the upside and this is a pattern that is also most likely to break to the downside right this is a rising wedge pattern so after identifying the pattern what we have to focus on is the market structure right i can also see this left shoulder right here it's a right shoulder we also have a left shoulder this is also a possible move that can go all the way to the downside so we will go down and look at the market structure on other time frames as well so going on the daily time frame we had price creating a high this is a major swing high a major swing low this high got broken right we had a high a low and then a push to the upside to create a high right so we can call this the major swing low right so whatever that is happening here is just the noise right so we have a lower low lower high lower low this is a minor swing low minor swing high minor swing low so these are the minors and this is the major right so we have price creating these lower lows and lower highs on this time frame this is actually a bearish trend and since there's a bearish trend on the daily time frame we can also be looking for selling opportunities so currently what price can do is we just broke this low so we can either have a retest at this level and then a push to the downside if we break this level retest then we can go all the way to the downside so this is gonna be our current lower high right as long as this high is not broken this is still a downtrend so price can still pull back here and then go all the way to the downside we can even come back to this level and go all the way to the downside right but when price breaks above this level retest then we can see price going to the upside right so let me delete all these and then we can use the fibonacci from the high to the low right so price can pull back to one of these levels before going to the downside so again we're gonna focus on the market structure of this pullback once we get a change of character on the pullback then we can trade with this overall direction of the market which is bearish but overall this is gonna be our final target if price goes all the way to the downside we have a similar structure that played out on AUDJPY so we'll go on that pair and take a look at it so this AUDJPY on the weekly time frame we had price trading at this level right so we identified this level what we want to focus on is the price action at that level what is price doing at that level yes we have a resistance but what is price doing right we are not just focusing on this resistance and saying that okay when price gets to the resistance we're gonna sell or we're waiting for the break and retest of resistance no we want to focus on the market structure what is price doing is it approaching a resistance correctively or impulsively right so looking at this structure you can see that we had price pushing all the way to the upside impulsively 
and then we started having this correction move right because those who open a buy position here they know that price is approaching a resistance level right so right here they got in impulsively and then they started closing their trade that is why we have this corrective move right so having this idea you can also focus on the structure and also the patterns and then know exactly what you do when price gets to that level so here we have the first touch the second touch of the trend line and also the third touch right i'm gonna go down and then we will see exactly what i'm trying to illustrate so this is the impulsive move this is the correction this is also a rising wedge pattern so i'll go down on the daily time frame and then we will see something so we had this first touch second touch third touch and then we also had this bearish engulfing at the third touch level which was also correlating with our resistance level right so we got in here this was a risk entry right with our stop loss here and then a take profit at this level this was a swing trade in september and then price came to the take profit level in the month of december but that's actually not what i want to show what i want to show is the nature of this structure right that's exactly what we were looking at on the previous pair so we have this impulsive move we have this correction and then this was our target level so i hope you got something valuable from this video merry christmas to you all god bless you and take care peace